Hi, I'm Steve Cole from MyTech, and this video is designed to give you the MyTech answer to the protection requirements of the Lumberlock and Bomac products such that they meet the durability requirements of the New Zealand Building Standard NZS 3604. Now that's quite a mouthful, but essentially what we were trying to decide is the protection descriptions either being mild steel uncoated, standard zinc coated, hot dip galved, or simply make it stainless steel. I should however point out that the Lumberlock and Bomac products have the associated fixings of screws, nails and bolts being the same protection description as the actual product itself. So let's look at the process. Step one is to define the exposure zone being a choice of a zone D, a zone C or a zone B. Now zone D is classed as a sea spray area with a high risk of windblown sea spray salt deposits. Typically it is that area within 500 metres of the sea, including the harbour, 100 metres from tidal estuaries, and all the other areas shown in the white on the zone map. Zones B and C are classed as the same zone for the purpose of this video, and are basically the rest of New Zealand. Your next step is to define the environment of the fixings. Now this is broken into three separate classes. Number one, we have a closed environment, generally a dry internal location. Number two, a sheltered environment, which is generally open to airborne salts, but protected from the rain. Number three, we have an exposed environment, being open to airborne salts and rain wetting. Further definition of sheltered and exposed is given in 3604 where overhanging roofs or decks exist, we use a 45 degree angle to define the sheltered or exposed environments. Now the MyTech Durability Product Selection Chart provides an alternative and commercial solution to Table 4.1 of NZS 3604. Firstly, if we have a closed environment in all zones, the Lumberlock Standard Zinc Coated and the BOMAC Hot Dip Galvanized products are the acceptable options. In zone D, or a sea spray area, with either a sheltered or exposed environment, there is no question. We use stainless steel 304 in both Lumberlock and Bomac product options. For treated pile fixings above 600 millimeters from the ground, we have two environments, either sheltered or exposed. Now let's look at the sheltered environment. There, we have hot dip galvanized on both Lumberlock and Bomac products above 600 millimetres from the ground, but in an exposed environment, the choice is stainless steel for the Lumberlock product and hot dip galvanised for the BOMAC product. Note the definitions of sheltered and exposed subfloors. The exposed being vented at above 7,000 square millimetres per metre square, generally very open, and the sheltered being vented below 7,000 square millimetres per square metre, which is typically a normal vented concrete strip foundation. For treated timber pile fixings below 600 millimeters, the simple answer is that all the Lumberlock products are stainless steel 304 grade. For all other structural fixings in zones B and C, in a sheltered environment, both the Lumberlock and BOMAC products are okay as hot tip galvanized, where in the exposed environment, the Lumberlock product is stainless steel 304 grade and the BOMAC product is perfectly okay as hot tip galvanized. In tables 4.2 and 4.3 of NZS 3604, the galvanizing protections for specific products are defined. Now all of the Lumberlock and BOMAC product definitions fit within this criteria. That includes our bolts, nails, screws, nail plates, wire dogs and brackets. Now, we're often asked the question about the use of galvanized bolts in treated timber. The MyTech answer to this is, where H5 treatment is used and the fixing located within 600 millimeters of the ground, stainless steel is the only option. Above 600 millimeters from the ground level in H5 treatment timber, 
provided the timber has had a chance to have the treatment salts fixed, ideally a period of three to four weeks at below 20% moisture content, then galvanized bolts are an acceptable choice. For H3.2 treatment level, again provided the salts have had time to fix, then hot dip galvanized bolts are an acceptable choice. The bolts must have a galvanized protection of an average of 600 grams per square meter and form part of the Biomac fabricated bracket system. There is that clause in NZS 3604 that requires the use of stainless steel products when associated with timbers that have been treated with a copper-based preservative. Now at MyTech, we sought professional advice from corrosion experts who found that if you allowed the treatment salts to fix over a three to four week period in a 20% moisture content or less environment, then the durability risk was very low. Added to that, the BCA or building consent authorities do however have the prerogative to decide that on some locations, building types or categories, that the durability risk may be less or more adverse and can define the protection requirements for that even though they may differ from the standard. To assist you with your decision process, you can refer to the durability flow charts provided in the on-site guide. The purpose of this video has been to provide guidance in your durability decisions, but it is really important to seek clarification and approval from the respective building consent authority. Or for further help, just give us a call at MyTech.